So hello everyone, as you can see, the color of these pads are worn off. I'm still using them. So I thought that I should paint them so that they can look new. So for painting the pads, obviously you need your own pads. Second, you need acrylic color. This is the brand which I have chosen. So let's see what you know, what kind of color does it come does come on the pads. Then you you also need a cotton cloth so that you can rub off the extra paint which is there on the, on the pads which I had earlier painted on it. Then you need newspaper so when you paint you have to lay it off on the floor so that your floor doesn't get uh, painted accidentally. to rub off, rub off the previously painted surface so uh, as you can see the difference earlier it looked like this this was the surface previously but after rubbing off this is how it is looking like so you can see the previously the previous paint has now worn off and please try not means you should not use the sandpaper otherwise you will scratch the surface and it can get unpainted surface of the bag but you have to use it very gently see paint is coming off as well as I have covered my eyes with the so before painting you need to shake well the bottle then you need to maintain a safe distance so you can stand up stretch your arm and then start painting in this fashion side to side Here we are done with the first uh, 
first coat and I'm waiting for the pads to dry and once the uh, pads dry then I will uh, try to do the second coat if it is required. If I don't get the desired, result, desired uh, paint then I may have to you know, paint them again. So if you use any gear you like to keep them for long and they are very close to you. However, there is something special about this, this pair of uh, pads. So the secret is that these pads were given to me by an international player. He was not a batsman, but he is a very well renowned, one of the fastest uh, bowler to play the game of cricket. His name is Sean Tate.